everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how to crochet these super simple and textured yet elegant flowers. Now if this is your first visit to my channel it would be amazing if you just took a moment to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now for this petal technique I saw this demonstrated on a beautiful video where they're made in a big long round and rolled up into a rose. Now I will link to that video in the description box below, so don't forget to take a moment to just expand the box down there by clicking the little arrow so you can watch that video. Now I believe it is in Spanish, but you can follow along just by watching. Now the rose was absolutely stunning and I made one, but I found that it was taking just fractionally a bit too long for my liking because I am an impatient kind of girl. So I wanted to take the absolutely beautiful petal technique and apply it to something a bit quicker, a bit simpler and a bit faster. Hence, this little flower has been born. But full credit to that video, which I've linked to below, for showing me this really pretty technique for the petals themselves. All right, let's jump straight into how we make these flowers. Now I'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook and some cotton yarn for mine, just normal double knit, but these will work for any yarn and any corresponding hook size. Now with my yellow, I'm going to start by making a magic ring. Now, if you don't know how to make a magic ring, I do have a video on how to do just that, which I've linked to in the description box below, or a little eye will have popped up over here. Now from the magic ring, you're going to chain one quite loosely. It's like a tall, loose chain, which does not count as a stitch. Then into the magic ring, you're going to place 12 double crochet stitches. So once you have your 12 double crochet, you can go ahead and Close your magic ring, but don't pull it all the way closed just yet because you don't want to lose the top of this first double crochet. And you want to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet, ignoring the chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a decent long length for weaving in afterwards. Then you can go ahead and pull that yarn through and Finish closing that magic ring at the back. Pull it nice and tight. Then weave in your end of the yellow. Don't forget to also weave in the end of your magic circle. Now we're going to do the petals. So put your hook underneath that double crochet next to where you slip stitched and bring in your petal color. Pop a slip knot on your hook and bring that loop to the front of your work. Now to begin your first petal, chain five. And working back into this exact same stitch that you've just joined your yarn to, we're going to be doing trebles, American term trebles, which is a yarn over twice. So yarn over twice, go into that stitch, come back through, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. So you want to leave that first treble and all the remaining treble stitches unfinished. Now we want seven of these half finished treble stitches in total, all working into this same stitch. Things are gonna get pretty tight, but bear with it. So yarn over twice, go back into the same stitch, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and stop at that point. So seven of those in total. We've done two, I need five more.
Right, once you have your seven part finished trebles hanging from your hook, you've got your chain five and your seven, you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops on your hook. Now we're going to work them off Tunisian crochet style. So you're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop. Then for the remaining loops, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Keep doing that until you only have one loop remaining on your hook. Then we're going to skip this chain five and we're going to be working in between your first trebles. So in here, so skip here, put your hook straight in at the top and do a single crochet. Single crochet in between the next two trebles and single crochet in between the next. So you'll have three single crochets. Chain two and place a single crochet back into that same space. Then we're going to work three more single crochets in between your stitches. Chain five. And then slip stitch back into this exact same space where all those stitches have been placed. So it's pretty tight in there, but that causes these petals to curve. Now you're going to skip the next stitch, which is pretty much crushed and hiding. So you may need to pull things around. Skip this stitch here and put a slip stitch into the next. So skip one, slip stitch into the next. Then we're going to repeat the petals. So chain five. Then we're going to do seven half finished trebles into this same stitch. Once you have your seven half finished treble stitches and your eight loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over, pull through two. Ignore your chain five, and work in between the treble stitches three single crochet. Chain two, place a single crochet back into that same space. So you have single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then three more single crochet in between your trebles. Chain five, and slip stitch back into that same stitch. Skip a stitch, slip stitch into the next. And repeat this petal four more times around. So petal, skip a stitch, petal, skip a stitch, petal, skip a stitch. Keep going and you'll end up with six petals. When you've done your last petal, cut your yarn, leaving a decent length to weave in. Pull 
pull that yarn through and you'll see that all your petals have got one curled side and one flatter side and you want to place the curled sides behind the petals if they'll stay there but that's the direction you want your flower to be going in so the curled sides are behind then grab your needle and weave in this end now for this final petal I like to attach it to this first one just for security but it's totally up to you And that's all there is to it. So these flowers get really quick once you get used to this sort of half normal crochet, half Tunisian crochet style of working. If you want your flowers to truly stick up, you could of course stitch the petals together to force them in that shape. But I quite like the flat fact that you can flatten them out if you want to, or you can have them more curved, depending on the look you want to go for. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As I said, I have linked to the video below which shows how you make a beautiful rose using this petal technique with just a few more stitches in between. And it would be amazing if you haven't already, if you hit that subscribe button or perhaps share this video with someone who you think may also enjoy making these really pretty little 3D textured simple flowers. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.